Hello <clears throat> and Happy New Year! Today I'm gonna show you this card, cards that I made. Um, I actually got inspired by watching the Norsu Girls YouTube channel. She makes a lot of cards using uh, greeting farm, the greeting farm stamps. And I haven't seen the stamps in any shops here in Finland, but I, I really like her cards. So after watching her videos, she presented two new greeting farm stamps. I started to Google them greeting form and I came up with a, I think it was a forum and on the forum when I scroll it down I saw this girl and she was kind of small so I pressed her and she popped up like really big, really big, um, what's it called? Picture. The picture became really big. So I thought, whoa, I'm going to save that picture and I'm going to print it out. And this is what it looks like. Happy New Year and uh, 2011. So I printed it, uh, this out on some watercolor paper. And after that, I colorated her with some distress inks. And I'm not really happy with her skin tone. I haven't found yet any distress inks that is similar to skin tone so if you happen to know some what I should use for skin tone color please let me know but I colorated her and I cut her out and uh, then I made this background this is some brown paper this is just where you can write the greeting on I got a headache so I just the background became really simple it's yellow and I rounded the corners a little bit and it's it's really simple and actually I got a big shot for Christmas yay big shot I've been wanting one for a while now not because I'm gonna cut anything out with it it's because I embossed this background here these swirls actually you're gonna be surprised because I used Fisker's texture plates and this one is called party. So I used this one to create this background and then I just used um, what's it called? Um, roller thing. Let me show you. I have it here in my closet. This brayer. It's called brayer. Yeah. I put some distress inks on it and I did this on the background to get those embossed swirls up and then I embossed the sides I distressed the sides a little bit with vintage photo and uh, then I freehanded draw this little champagne ending and that one I actually distressed one of what's it called embossed I embossed it with fabric by Fiskars texture plates in my big shot. I'm so happy that they work and they be, they leave these really nice impressions. They are really deep and I like them a lot. So and then I just again with the brayer put on some color there and this little champagne bottle I again freehanded draw a champagne bottle cut it out and uh, I put on some glossy accents as you can see it shines like a bottle wine bottle and then I put on a white um, square and a smaller red this is actually a sticker so um, and then I cut out a little bit of and that's my phone sorry excuse me that's my phone and then I uh, I cut out a little bit of red and I painted it with um, uh, glittery gel pen. Actually I did the same thing with this girl here. You can see I have some small dots here and her shoes are glittery red and her earrings are glittery and I made her eyes, the eyelids, not what they're called, they are called... Oh, what's the name? 
Egon Franzer Silmaripset and at English it is eyebrows. Is it called eyebrows? I, I drew some glitter on them as well with the glitter gel pen and this was with neon gel pen. Happy New Year! And I put a ribbon here and uh, actually a yeah, ribbon and a little bow up here and these little bubbles I drew with a black pen and I filled them up with some stickles and that's pretty much how I did this and then this before I put on glossy accent I put some white lines with a white gel pen and when I dried I put on the glossy accent so it became more button like yeah so this is pretty much how I made the card and I'm gonna give it a mount for this year's and this is yeah this is by greeting farm I can try to give you the link to the page if it's still up and I'm gonna put it down here I suppose or somewhere so you can get this girl as well that's just some printer printed out some dots there I don't know why I actually had to use my inkjet printer and can you see it smears when it gets wet so if you have a laser printer, try to use that. Some of these cards got a little bit smeary because I I used... Uh, there you can see her here. It is a bit smeary, the black one. I try to stay inside the lines. But if you have a, a laser printer, rather do that instead than an inkjet printer. And Happy New Year everybody! Yay! Happy New Year! 2011 yeah okay thanks for watching see ya bye bye if you have any questions let me know and remember that you can use your textured um, what are they called texture plates by Fiskars in your big shot I like the big shot Woohoo! happy new year thanks for watching bye bye